Hey guys, this is Tapan Sharma here and in today's tutorial we are going to be discussing about how we can implement select tool library into our Laravel application. So let me first tell you about what is select tool. So select tool is a JavaScript library which will which helps us to select multiple items from our select tag. So basically by default what happens is uh, we can only select one item from our select select tag in our HTML but with the help of this library what we can do is we can select multiple items for a single model like if you have a post model and if it has multiple categories or if, if it contains multiple tags then we can use select to to implement that functionality so we can implement we can uh, we can select multiple tags for a single post. So in this tutorial, we'll be talking about how we can implement select to into our Laravel application. So let me just tell you about my quick setup. What I have done is I've already installed Laravel in my local computer. And I've also set up a database called select to example. And this, the database is empty for now, as you can see here. And what I've also done is I have set up a few files here like selecting a file called uh, I have defined a folder called backend in our views folder in the backend folder what I have done is I have created few files like a dashboard which is empty and a master file so it basically consists of all the CSS and JavaScript file needed for the admin panel so I've already set, it, set everything up and what I've done is I have created a section called created a field called add the red yield content. So whatever we defined in our define in our section content, which will be yield at this section. And I've also imported I have also set up our JavaScript file for the admin panel. And what I've done is I have defined two fields for our model and script section and similarly for our style section so whatever we define in these sections will be yielded at this portion of our master file and I've also set up a route for our admin section so the prefix that I'm using is admin and I have defined a route for our dashboard so in order to go to that we are using a controller called admin login controller which resides inside auth folder and it's it goes to the function called dashboard and let me just show you our controller here it does nothing but only returns our view file which is inside backend and dashboard.blade.php so here this is our dashboard and it contains it contains nothing so in order to implement select to into our laravel application what i'll be doing is i'll be creating two models the one model will be called as post and the other model will be cost called as category so we'll have a many to many relation between the post and the category so a post can have multiple categories and a category can belong to multiple posts so in that way we can i can show you the demo of how we can implement select to how we can use select to to implement that many to many functionality so that whenever we create a post we can select multiple categories for that particular post so in order to do that in order to do that what we need to do is we need to create a model called post and let's also create a migration file and I'll, I'll also create a model called category let's hit enter and both our files have been created so let's go to our database not database okay database migrations and let's go to our post create 
create post table migration file and it will consist of two fields one will be of type string and will be named as title and the other will be of type long text and let's give it a name of description and the way we will define our many to many relationship between the post and the categories table will be by defining a pivot table so we will implement that pivot table in our later section in our later part of the video so for that for now let's save this table and let's go to our categories table and let's also define <coughs> some fields so it will consists of only one field which will be name let's save it and let's migrate our files so our migration has been done and in our next video we'll be talking about creating CRUD operations for our post and the categories model so stay tuned and see you in the next one